Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Nexus Nachos and WooCommerce uh, today. Yeah! Yes! Today, I am here with Russell. Russell is going to show us how to make some... Sorry, my cat is over there trying to steal food off the counter. I think he knows when I'm doing these, and he's like, he's distracted. He's not going to mess with me. Anyway... <laughs> Um, Do you put these on the calendar? Because if you share the calendar with the cat, that's what's going to happen. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, um, well, I'm I'm just proud as peaches to be here with Russell um, because he's going to show us how to make some killer nachos. Um, but the main reason we're doing this is to give you a little a um, uh, little break in your day. And uh, to talk WooCommerce. So if we don't have anybody in the room, then we're just going to talk WooCommerce. And then we're going to record this. And then we're going to put it somewhere so that you can see it later. Um, of course, if, uh, you know, if somebody does come in the room, then we'll answer their question. We'll talk about WooCommerce with the person. But we might just be sitting here talking to ourselves for an hour. Which I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not hard for either of us to do, so it's cool. Hold on just a second. I have to go get a cat off my counter. Get off of here. So my name is Russell. There's Cameo. Ah, yeah. His Cameo. So my name is Russell Aaron. I do support here at Nexus. Um, I see a lot of WooCommerce sites. I see a lot of non-WooCommerce sites, but mostly WooCommerce managed, of course. Um, Astra, Astra Pro, iThemes, like, you know, we could talk about WooCommerce all day. Good, yeah. What, what do you like, Russell? Well, first of all, before, before we get into the Woo, Woo Talk, okay. what do you like about nachos? Like, what Everything. is it about nachos that are just... At, you can go anywhere, and when it says nacho, you at least are probably going to get a chip, <laughs> that's for sure, but... Yeah. I've had some cool nachos in Mexico. I've had some really good ones in Spain. Um, nachos so are you are saying universal. that nachos are the great equalizer? Is that what you're saying? I think nachos are uh, naturally translatable. You know, just like WooCommerce, you translate it into whatever language. I think nachos are the same. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh, I, I like that perspective, Russell. I yeah. like that perspective. Um, I, I have to tell you, before we get started figuring out what you're doing, um, I made some fried mozzarella cheese the other night, Ooh. and I have not washed the pan since. And there, you know that beautiful fat that collects from that fried cheese in the frying I pan? Well, I, I've had that in the frying pan, and now I'm warming it up to, to serve as my base for the oil to fry my garlic in. See, okay. I do the same thing with my grill. Like after I cook steak or some kind of whatever, like you have that just glistening glare and like you clean the rack, but like you still have just a little bit there and that's what keeps that flavor and the seasoning. Yeah. Same thing with the pan. So, yeah. So you don't think I'm nuts? I definitely support your efforts here. Cool. All right. Well, um, so tell us, Tell us what you've got in store for your nacho recipe today. Yeah, sure. I'm making simple Step Brothers nachos uh, with a little bit of like a twist. I like a little bit of spice. How about you? Okay. Um, I love I love spice. Spice cool. is my so, middle name, actually. You didn't know yeah. that, but it is. Mendel Spice Curling. All That's right. right. I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so I've got vegan cheese, but it's pepper jack cheese. I like a little bit of spice. I've got ground beef, non-vegan ground beef, as we discovered <laughs> earlier. Um, I've got the best salsa, pace, restaurant style, medium. Uh, I don't like super hot, but medium school. Yeah. Um, I got a little bit of garlic and I got some chips. Nice. And nice. an onion, as you can see. So I'm just slicing up my onion. I'm going to make it uh, thin, and I'm going to caramelize them. I like, I like where that's going. Yeah. You know, uh, your, your onion um, looks amazing. I forgot to get onion. So instead, um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use some powdered onion. And Ooh. I apologize. I apologize. No, powdered onion is okay. Uh, looks, it looks like we got Joseph in the house. What's up, Joseph? 
Yo, yo. What, what, what? I saw y'all saying you're making nachos. I was like, I'm hungry. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, live vicariously through our nacho experience. Um, <laughs> here, this is, by the way, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. this is what I got going on, Russell. It's just, Ooh. it's a pan with some, I'm going to throw this in right now because I think it's hot enough. And this is like a lot of garlic, okay? Oh, man, Alrighty. that's a hell of garlic. That is a ton a of garlic. A lot of garlic, yeah. yeah. Now, Joseph, you you missed it, but I'm using like day old cheese fat. Um, oh, okay. To fry mine. So, what what's your story? What's uh, you're coming to us from L.A.? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm I'm at, at in San Diego. Cool. Ooh, one of my favorite cities. Yeah, yeah, I'm close to Del Mar. Like, uh, like another right one there. of my favorite cities. <laughs> you know what I love about Del Mar? The People fair. drive Porsches like oh. the Hondas. Yes. <laughs> but also yeah. the fair. I worked at the San Diego uh, County Fair for 2004, 2005, 2006. Wow. wow. Mitchell. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, do you that's where impressive. do you where do you where are you guys at? Where are you from? I'm in Las well, I'm Vegas. In, oh, Las Vegas, okay. And I'm in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Sorry, Mitchell, you're going further remember. west. Yeah, yeah, so we're we're um, we're spread out geographically across the country, but you know we uh, we're still all nerds. So, <laughs> so I got a little bit of minced garlic. I'm cheating. You chopped yours, but I got mine. And oh, nice! I got heat over my pan, and I'm gonna. What are your little... favorite nachos, Joseph? Yeah um usually my uh my wife does them and it's, it's got to be all organic whatever it is I all just, organic like, yeah like organic white tortillas she makes you're a hippie she makes, like that huh um i yeah i am now <laughs> cool yeah so you know like 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 good vegetables like uh sliced uh jalapenos and um tomatoes and you know even good chicken, like, you know, grill some chicken with your garlic, like, you know, get the yeah. chicken and get it all sauced up and seasoned up and then dump that on some nachos with some cheese. I like it. And everything organic. Like she has to make it all organic. You know? Oh, she's the organic person. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got but it. it probably would taste just like what you would eat. It's just, you know. Yeah. So how do you, what do you do with uh, WooCommerce or do you do anything with WooCommerce? Do you um, hate it? Do, do you love do, it? <laughs> love it. Do do quite a bit with the WooCommerce. Um, oh. And that's kind of, we're an SEO company and um, we're, we're uh, Chuck Jones.com is one of our, one of our clients who's Bug okay. Bunny, AKA Bug Sweet. Bunny. We're using WooCommerce for them. Um just about everything that we do since we're a WordPress, we focus on SEO and WordPress together. Um, cool. We hate all the other platforms from, you know, your Wix sites to Squarespace and that stuff. We're, we're not very big fans of those. Yeah. Um, so, so we're, we're, we, we get people off of square and off of those spaces into woo. That's kind of, <laughs> you get people off of square and those mm -hmm. spaces. I love it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Into Woo, you know, because we can SEO them better in Woo. Uh, Way better, ten times better. From an SEO perspective, we can manage them ten times better in Woo than say. Yeah, Woo, Woo is pretty great for SEO. It's pretty great for anything as long as you know how to, you know how to make it work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even then, it's pretty intuitive with the wizard and setting things up. You know, I would yeah. say you need to know more about your business and like how you're going to set it up and take taxes and how shipping is going to work. Setting up Woo, I mean, you know, install it, add your products, add your uh, varying, you know, t-shirt sizes or, you know. Uh, yeah, that's mom, the other thing that we just like cut. Oh, right, right, right. The, that's the new thing that we got, we're doing with Woo is in the Chuck Jones store. Um, they're not allowed to um, sell any Warner Brothers products because that's like a five hundred million dollar license, you know, like yeah. with Warner Brothers. Yeah. But they now can sell as an affiliate through Amazon, so we can integrate the Amazon affiliate products in their Woo store. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's kind of what we're doing, and and adding a whole new revenue stream into their Woo store through the Amazon affiliate program. I like so, it. I like it. 
That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, because people are coming to them by looking for Bugs Bunny, you know. So now that we can oh, sell Bugs it. Bunny T-shirts, we couldn't before, but Woo allows us to be an Amazon affiliate through their own store. Um, Got it. Yeah. We can sell Warner Brothers products. We just it's funny that that our my client is the artist but can't sell it on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's like that's I don't know. That's Well, no, that's like that's the like the, the record company owning the rock band, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know. If yeah, there are, there are some recent stories that came out about that. Oh, rock really? bands that that were kind of owned by their um <laughs> their agreements yeah, that they I made mean, when they were desperate for money a lot mm -hmm. of record deals are like that you know you uh the beastie boys they went on tour with madonna and like they made a lot of money and every night they spent all of it and they trashed hotel rooms yeah. and then the record company goes hey you owe us two million dollars plus everything you spent and another record <laughs> that sounds like Guns N' Roses. <laughs> a little bit, man. Uh, Van Halen did the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, God rest his soul. He just died. He was the best. Yeah, he was the best guitar player, no doubt, on the face of the planet. So, so what's what's the best thing to do right now in uh, in L.A.? Or in San Nothing. Diego? <laughs> Go to the oh. beach. Go to the beach. I mean, the beach is still kind of open air. You can spread out and enjoy that, yeah. you know. That's about the only thing is the beach and kind of the hiking trails and, you know, because there's a lot of pretty, wilderness stuff here. Pretty good hiking trails. Yeah, pretty good hiking, pretty good outdoor stuff. I mean, most people exercise like crazy out here. Yeah. Bunch of, oh. bunch of, um, bunch of hippies that they're super fit. Mm hmm. Yeah, like my super long hair, I'm growing out, you know. <laughs> Hippo over here. I'm still trying to get on the surfboard. I'm from Atlanta, so you know, I'm I'm still trying to get out there on the on the waves and Yeah, yeah. I hear that. Yeah, I just bought a uh I just bought a skateboard. Oh yeah? And uh yeah, I really I'm I'm gonna try and learn. But then somebody's like, dude Did you buy it? Get your elbow pads or something. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of breaking my elbows. Yeah. So basically, the my my buddy that was with me, I was I was like jumping on the board and uh, trying it out, and he was like, "Yeah, definitely get a helmet." And I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. "That doesn't sound very He's complimentary right. to what you just saw, right?" <laughs> but yeah, it was Did what you it buy was. It so you could be in that TikTok thing. In the Pixar thing, in the skateboard and your no, in the TikTok thing. Have you seen that thing going viral? Oh no! There's a guy in Idaho, and he's got a longboard, and he's riding down the highway, and he's got some ocean spray, and he's listening to some um, uh, Stevie Nicks. Um, what's that band? Um, Fleetwood Mac. And yeah. that went viral. So I, I was wondering if you bought a longboard for that. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that much of a hipster. Like I I I don't uh, even know what that is. Did you say it was on TikTok? Yeah. Yes, sir. But you uh, never even downloaded TikTok. I'm I'm scared. He's freaking, <laughs> I, he's freaking, I, I haven't used TikTok. I think that's for kids, isn't it? Like I, I don't even know what that stuff does. TikTok. He was drinking I think Ocean Spray, I think. I think Ocean Spray brought, bought the guy a truck. Like, he, he ended up getting something out of it. And then yeah. a bunch of people oh. mimicked it. Yeah. Huh. Weird. Really weird. Well, it was him. And then uh, Leetwood Mac himself, the guy, he did it. And then it became a bigger thing. And yeah. Huh. So, Mendel, did you get a traditional so skateboard or a longboard? Going. I got a traditional skateboard. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty rad. If I was close to it right now, instead of making <laughs> queso, like a Tony Hawk like skateboard. Like, is it a longboard? Like, I I I'm familiar with longboards. It's a like a no, trick, no. trick board, like a like a regular trick board that you. I mean, you're probably asking me questions that I don't know the answer to, but ah. it it's a it's a skateboard, and it's not what you would consider a longboard. Oh, okay. So let me ask you this question. Where'd you get it? 
Denver. All right. All right. That's all I got. That's all I got. What are you doing over there, by the way? Tell us. Keep us keep us up to date with what you're doing with that. Uh, Looks that like he's beef. browning some meat over there. Yeah, so I caramelized all my meat um, and my onions, and now I put it together. And now I'm just giving it a little bit of flavor. Nice. So I like to add steak seasoning to mine. Oh, so man, I'm doing Montreal that's good. Steak. Yeah. Yeah, so I like a meat, and it's got some flavor. Nice. Well, while you're while you're seasoning your your meat, what what is um, you you obviously build multiple e-commerce sites, right? Yes. You talking to me? Talking to uh, Russ. Russell. But sorry, I got some too, pepper Joseph. going over here. I, I'm curious if people have any like favorite tips for building out a WooCommerce site, whether it's like inventory tips or like merchandising tips or. Well, first off, anything, um, what, what are you guys in relation to WooCommerce? I don't know, like I'm. I'm oh in- yeah. So, um, so Nexus is a uh, managed WooCommerce and managed okay. WordPress host gotcha. among other types of technologies. We do a lot do of stuff with Magento and stuff guys- are y'all the actual data center or do y'all white label that somehow? Um, so are we the actual meaning, meaning uh, y'all are the more the managed we're... and y'all, y'all, yeah, we do the data center the back in. Oh, y'all yeah, do so... the data center, meaning y'all, oh, the servers are in we... y'all's hands. Yeah. It's, oh, it's our equipment in yeah. our facilities. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what I was asking. Sorry, I was... Cause some, some managed, some managed hosting companies are outsourcing the hosting part of it. That's all I'm saying. That's oh, all. Got it, got it. Got it. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Y'all so are we... actually the host. Yep. Yeah, yeah exactly. we're not reselling AWS uh, for. Let me ask you another question. Do you resell like we're an agency? Do you resell if we want to resell managed hosting services with an SEO spin on it? Do you guys do that? Like resell? We don't like have. If, we don't. We don't have a white. We don't have a white label solution for our for our portal, as far as I know. But um, but like we don't we don't mind if you resell it. Like if you, oh. if you, uh, like you have an if you build out a service thing. and then you're like, we do have an affiliate hey. program. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we have another step, which is a partner program. Um, yeah. and, uh, maybe Devin can hook that up, something like that. Um, but we do have those. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So like if I, as an agency wanted to manage my client on your platform, I could do that. I don't see why not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the devil's in the details, right? So, like, yeah, you know, what what types of things you want to manage on on a platform? That's like another conversation. But generally speaking, we have a lot of people that um, purchase service from us, and then they charge other people um, for hosting um, or for a full service sort of situation with their clients. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, something that happens. That's pretty common. Um, yeah. But it just it just depends, you know. If you're like, hey, I want to, I want a white label. So immediately when I think like um, reselling your services, I think like a white labeled um, uh, backend portal, you know. And mm-hmm. um, to my knowledge, we don't do that. But at the same time, um, you you know, nobody ever has to see the portal. Well, <laughs> right? yeah. When yeah. I think of white label, I think of maybe removing WordPress in the name anywhere or in the footer or removing mm-hmm. um, anything in the WP admin bar. We do have a Nexus installer. So every site that comes on managed WordPress, you have a suite. It's mm-hmm. called Nexus. And when you go in there, you can turn on like Astra Pro. You can turn on... Um, oh, yeah. Um, I think security. So we have a suite in part of that. And I think there's a hook or a filter that you can rename that menu title. But, yeah. you know, as far as white branding, anything farther than that, you might need a plug. Yeah. So WordPress itself. Point. Yeah. WordPress itself. You can, you can do that um, yeah. with our tools for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. cool. But, uh, That's awesome. Yeah. 
So yeah, yeah. I do support. I work, um, I'm a special WordPress technician level two. All I know yeah. is that's better than a level one. Um, <laughs> they, they created this position for me and my job's kind of autonomous. If I want to go do support, I can go do that. If I want to go help somebody set up like WP Rocket with their WooCommerce store, or if someone's having an issue, I can spend three hours debugging it for them if I want to, you know, so I get to be whatever I want, really. <laughs> yeah. How did you get Captain America? <laughs> um, when two people love each other. No. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I applied um, and I... I know Jess Frick, who is another Nexus person here, and she recommended me to the support team, and we had a good conversation. What are my We've goals? Never been the are same. Goals? I've yeah. never been the same. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's how that worked. That's awesome. Ooh, that's amazing. How long have you guys been around? I As just Nexus. hit ninety days. <laughs> oh, ninety oh, you're, days. You're talking. You're talking about Nexus. Yeah. So you, you've probably heard of Liquid Web. Yeah. Right. Um, and so Liquid Web purchased Nexus. Oh, um, okay. So, so we're a part of Liquid Web. So we've been around for quite a while. Um, okay. And ne Nexus, by the way, has been around for quite a while too. But yeah, Nexus Nex has been mostly in the um, Magento space. Right. right. So, yeah. Um, and, and then we, so we both stole, companies, both companies yeah. started in like the, the late 90s. Right. I think they date back to. Liquid's probably started in 98 or 99 last I saw, and Nexus started in 99, 2000. So mm -hmm. both have been in the hosting spaces for, for quite some time. So um, Nexus was doing a lot of amazing stuff with Magento as far as scale um, uh, and infrastructure hosting. work and stuff like that. Yeah. And so we um, were like, well, you know, um, the managed uh, Word, WordPress and WooCommerce stuff is um, getting more popular more people are loading onto the the system and so like how do we make sure that we're continuing to you know plan for success future success and so that's when um the nexus um acquisition happened and then uh you know the the two of us together um are kind of a powerhouse as far as uh scaled managed applications so that's that's kind of how the whole thing Mm. to be cool cool that's awesome awesome i'll look more into it i'm actually gonna head out now you guys are making me so hungry over there eating get so out of I'm, here go i'm gonna go grab some food and it was a great good hanging out with you yeah nice to meet you too uh and so have a good one talk to you soon all right you take too. it easy all right bye i'll get into your thing by the way so i'm on your list now so yeah wait yeah cool have a good one <laughs> all right bye. take it easy you know, Mendel, one of the things I like to tell people is that, you know, before I worked at Nexus, you had to go work at a company to get uh, support and do all these things, or if you offered it privately. What I'm saying now is come over to Nexus, get managed Woo, uh, WooCommerce, WordPress, and I will give you ah. support for free. And, you know, like Friday, we had an entire WooCommerce site that had been uh, compromised due to a plugin, an outdated plugin um, that yeah. was not WooCommerce specific. But so I spent all Friday backing up, make a solid backup, put the site in maintenance, uh, yeah, maintenance mode, and then fully clean it from tip to bottom into the database, make sure everything's there. And, you know, yeah. that's one of the things that I've been doing for the last three months of Nexus is helping our customer on WooCommerce, WordPress, keep your store around. You know, that's how we stay open. <laughs> I like it. And it's why I like having people like you um, taking care of our customers so that people like me um, don't have to answer the hard questions. Right. You know? you know, Mendel, I think this is a really good time to plug Nexus.net, the truly managed e-commerce, WooCommerce content platform, scalability, security, speed, and support for digital commerce. It's got it all. It's got it all. It's got it all, man. You know, I've 
I, I mean, you've hosted a bunch of places. I've hosted a bunch of places. And what I really like about Nexus is Tell that- Tell me what you really like about it. Out of the box, ready? You install it. You have a portal. It's one click and you got a staging site. You can either spin up a fresh WordPress site or bring your data over however you want it. I like to spin up a fresh WordPress site. And then I set up Astra, Astra Pro, and then I do iTheme security and I go through that whole checklist. And before I install Woo or before I upload photos, I get security locked down. And then once we have that, then I start building stores. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what else is there besides security, right? If you don't have that, then what's the point? Well, I mean, that's still something that people talk a lot about in the WordPress industry. You know, you and I have been around for a while and it's always been something of, I know WordPress is secure with a username and a password, but what about if someone gets into my site and they go into a database or somehow they get into my file system and start changing things, you know, security now I think means the whole spectrum, but now, um, or I'm sorry, earlier, um, 2011 security was really just about the dashboard and it wasn't really server wide as you know, now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The, uh, the, the, the leaps and bounds that, uh, WooCommerce and WordPress have grown from a security standpoint, from a usability standpoint, from an update standpoint, all those things. It's really night and day since it was, uh, since, since, uh, you know, five years ago or 10 years ago, actually 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when I started um, playing around with, with WordPress. You know, Here's Adam. Heard... Hey, Adam. Hey there. What's going on? Uh, not much. It's uh, soon as you see the, the, the nachos hits is all about. Nice. Yeah, yeah, we're just uh, we're just making nachos. I hope you don't mind. No, no, no it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's Sunday. Right, well, it's Sunday's football games. I'll be pretty bad today, but oh man, <laughs> I can't wait for the uh, the Packers and the Bucks. That's gonna be good, man. Aaron Rodgers and Brady. And that's what the session is. I'm doing a session at two fifteen, so that's not. I can't watch it. Oh man, what um, what brings you to WordCamp LA, Adam? I mean, because I'm from LA, I live in LA, first of all, so, cool. which is rare itself, but uh, no, I just basically just, I'm just checking out the various sponsor rooms, and uh, I've been, I, I mean, I go, I'm going to WordCamp LA basically since it started, so. Yeah. What do you, what do you do with WordPress? A lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'd be here a while. I've been doing WordPress since 2005. Cool. Are you mostly client work, or? Yeah. Sweet. Sounds awesome. Well, I've, I don't think I've been doing it since 2005. Um, I, I think I've been doing it since like 2007. Okay, that's all. So I enough. think you have me beat. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. We got we got an update over from Russell. Yeah. Uh -oh. Hey. Uh. So. I've got my meat over in a strainer right now. All the oils and juice. I like all that to drip. I don't like to have a uh, soggy kind of nacho. You're a real professional. And I like yeah. that about you. Um, I've tried, you know, I've tried some nachos in my day. I have a way that I like things. And uh, part of that is experience the whole nacho, not a soggy chip. Yeah. That's Adam, a good what's your favorite, favorite, by the way? What's your favorite uh, nacho ingredient, Adam? I don't like nachos. <laughs> I just you don't like, like them at all? I like some cheese chips, like chips just as is. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can trust a guy that doesn't like nachos. Jeez. Right? <laughs> it's good stuff. It's just, you know, <laughs> you have to see, I'm the kind, I'm a, I'm a foodie, but I'm, like, I'm the kind of guy like me, he orders a burger, he orders it plain first, because if the beef can't survive it, you know, if the beef, because everything else is a mask. So the beef yeah. can't survive and the bun can't survive, it's not a good burger. I mean, if it has to have ketchup and tomatoes and lettuce and onions and so on, you know, then it's masking something. 
Ah, interesting. Interesting. So you're you're not um, you're not a uh, burger as a filler sort of person. No. You're a burger burger as the main event. Um, yeah. And if it if it doesn't hold up, um, then yes. uh, then there's no sense in having the rest of the burger. Yeah, I mean it's like it's like out here in LA. I mean, where where are you guys at? Where are, you at? where are you at? I'm in I'm in Austin and uh, Russell's in um, Las Vegas. Okay, then Russell knows. I mean, Russell knows in and out and the cold of in and out because they've got them out there. Oh, yeah. Mendel knows a lot about in and out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I live right near in and out here in Me Sherman too. Oaks, and it's the lines. The, the lines of the driver sometimes go well, often goes to way past outside the, the parking lot. I have an opinion about In and Out, but we might lose we might lose Adam uh, if we if I give you my opinion. I've well, got a lot of first for, coming from Mendel. <laughs> you'll give my opinion first, and then I'll take yours. Ooh, wait, what was that? You want to give you you'll give me my opinion first, and then I'll tell you, and then you tell me yours. Please, yeah. We may, we may agree. I am no fan okay. of In Out. You're okay. not a fan. It's not a fan. It's they're too thin. They don't have a lot of players. I, when I first came here, I did a trip in California like in 93 before I lived here. And I spent a whole week in California. First place I got to off the airport in San Diego was in, in and out. And I'm eating the end, I'm going like, what is the deal is? Why do people like this so much? And I still cannot, and to this day, I still cannot figure it out. It is a cult. I mean, the fries are pretty much blah. The, they're too thin. The burger is kind of like there, but you know, I, I don't get why people like it. Uh, the shakes are okay. They're not big enough, but the shakes are okay. Um, you know, but that's something. That Adam, your like. your opinion and my opinion are very similar. But I can I I've been thinking about it a long time in my life, and and I can tell you the exact reason why I don't like it and out. Okay, go ahead. And it's because the buns are always always taste like they're stale. Yeah. They're not. They don't have that nice cushion to them. No. Nope. That nice moist moistness and that nice um i don't know there's 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 something about a nice brioche bun that's yeah. very different than the buns yeah. at in and out you're right and then the burger you you eat the bun with the burger and you're like well is this like a burger stuffed bun because it doesn't taste like it's actually like i think the burger should be the main event right the bun yes. is just to hold the game together right but well, look at the important too i mean look I'm sorry. Uh, it's a shame that you know the pandemic basically you know closed a lot, caused a lot of restaurants to close. Fuddruckers being one of them, and you know because the whole you know because of Luby's, and yeah. it's you know it's it's a shame. That was my favorite place. That was my go-to. We just um, I was just out uh, before this this uh, this crazy nachos experience, and I passed the Fuddruckers, and my wife said, "What is Fuddruckers?" And I'm like, oh man, let me tell you. Oh, you know, this is one of the best places on earth. Uh huh. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm a fat burger guy. Like, it's the last uh, great hamburger stand. I think right. that's their slogan. Yeah. Um, I like fat burger because they've got a big burger. It's meat. You can go three, four, 15 high if you want. They yeah. put an egg on it and bacon, and they'll do uh, mushroom and bell pepper. The onion with an onion ring on top. Come yeah. on. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not right near that part. I just never go. It's like, I mean, every time I'm disappointed there. I mean, we usually go to like, there's a chain here called The Habit, which isn't too bad. And then there's five guys. The Habit. Yeah, and then there's five guys. And really, it's not the burgers that are really the reason we go. So it's those fries. Do you have a Slater's yeah. 50-50? Yeah, that's great. We just got a uh, Slater's 50-50 about a, uh, maybe a year ago. Okay. Who has the best shakes, though? Shakes are hard. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Rockets. Um, really? The Johnny Rockets I worked at was in Reno, Nevada, inside the Hilton Hotel. And uh -huh. it was voted one of the best Johnny Rockets in America and it's like a 1950s diner. People still come up and like get served, and it's like Bobby socks and stuff. Best milkshake, hands down. Really? Wow. I'm gonna call it JR's. Is that all right? Yeah, JR's. Huh. That's um, it's an interesting perspective, Russ. I I happen to really love, really love the steak and shake shake. Ooh, yeah, that's right. 
They got them out here too now in LA, a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was amazing because I, I thought this. this was Nexus nachos, but now it's turned into Nexus hamburgers and shakes. Yeah, really. <laughs> kind of like. So I've got my meat over here. I put my cheese on top. I'm going to let it go. But then I've got my nachos in here with a little bit of other cheese. And my Cut goal here is to put the meat on top, melt the cheese on top of the nacho, but it's already melted on top of this one as well. So that's, it's like, uh, that's pretty ambitious. It, 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 it's like melted cheese with like shredded cheese on top. You got two different kinds of cheeses. I love it. And wow. so fun fact, I used to work at this little WordPress agency. I say little, it's very large. Actually, Brad Williams was on here, so I can mention it. With Web Dev Studios, we did Nexus and Cheese Day. When I worked there, it, uh, I did support there at Maintain, and one of our clients was the Campbell's uh, Soup Company. And Campbell's Soup Company owns a lot of things, one of them being Pace Actual Salsa. Okay. So one of the largest- Hey, where's that made? Huh? New York City. Where's that New made? New York City. <laughs> <laughs> So I used to get the work on the Pace website, and this is why it's still one of my favorite salsas today. <laughs> Brought to you by WordPress. Wow. Wow. There it is. So Adam, what have you been what have you been keeping busy with in uh, in LA? Is there anything uh, to do there right now? Well, I mean basically, you know, everybody else is staying at home, so I rarely go out anymore. I mean, the, the, the area I live in, fortunately, is there for the walking distance of two grocery stores, um, you know, a, n- a number of restaurants and other things, you know, CB- yeah. CBS is out the yin yang. It's like there's like there's a four Chipotle within the, within this, within like a mile or two from that distance, which is ridiculous. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not like there isn't anything to do. It's just that, you know, pretty much, fortunately, the work has kept me, you know, busy, which is great. But uh, yeah, I've just basically been just like working from home and that's yeah. pretty much, and just basically working, fortunately working on a lot of projects. So um, yeah, it seems like there's a lot going on in, in the web development space these days. Yeah. A lot of people I talk to are, are seeing uptick in business because there's so many people trying to get their uh, digital lives together. Yep. You know, it's, it's really important that um, you have passive income come through. And a yeah. WordPress site, especially even just like you're a chef, right? You can have a tutorial blog about how to make nacho, uh, yeah. like a food blog. You can have a video blog. Like it's all can be powered by WordPress and oh, yeah. you can embed yeah, YouTube videos or, you know, all that good stuff. So if you're looking to start some kind of website blog, come over to Nexus. We've got deals all the time hosting Russ, Russ's, Russ's new name is going to be Ron Popeil at work. Yeah, Ron really. Popeil. But we even have uh, a restrict content pro. So if you want to have a membership, I'm, I'm going to suggest RCP hashtag RCP and, you know, come on over, give Nexus a try. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Got it. Nice work. Nice work, Russ. You always, you always amaze me with your your uh, infomercial style plugs, which fit in perfectly in this particular situation. Yeah. All right, can you guys hear the sizzle? I can. I can smell it. Ooh, it's quiet. All right, let me go right on top right here. On. So, what nacho chips are you using? Um, just tortilla, round tortillas. They're white corn. Okay, but there's like any specific brand or it's just like, you know, generic? Um, original Don Julio oh, yeah, yeah. standing Kroger, crispy yeah. tortilla chips. Yeah, I know those. Oh, maybe I'll, oh, I'll go like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Adam, what do you Look think of this. those chips? Are those acceptable chips? Um, they're the cheap ones, you know. They're like, you know, like about, you know, they're okay. I mean, they were seven ninety nine, my man. Cheap. <laughs> oh God, you got you got screwed at Smiths. <laughs> that's where it came from. That's exactly right. I mean, that, that, that's where it usually come from, Kroger's. 
Wow. Ooh. Well, I'm not going grocery shopping with you, Russell. Yeah, really. <laughs> you know, I did this just for this, and this might be my only time. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I love, mm. I love, uh, I love the display there. Can you bring it closer to the? Wow, look at that. Yeah, man. So a little bit of chip, a little bit of cheese. Uh oh. Oh, that was two cracks. I heard them. Mm. Here we go. Ready? And of course, the taste. Yeah, yeah how's that? Oh. So I did the uh, meat with Montreal steak seasoning. Oh. So I've got like a grilled steak kind of flavor, which is awesome, mm. even though it's ground beef. Yeah. Mm. That's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Is that hey, organic? I'm going to out of here and uh, get to some more, uh, get back to the hallway, but uh, good to see you guys. Hey, good to see you. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Talk to you later. Mmm. Mandel. You know, I'm going to give myself... I barely a, have anything left. You ate all yours? No. I got... I'm going to give myself about a B on this. You know, yep. um, I didn't have a lot of prep time. I probably would have marinated the meat a little bit better, maybe cooked it a little longer. I probably would have brought a jalapeno. Um, oh, no yeah. Jalapenos. Um, fresh or no, not fresh? Fresh. Like the pickled or the fresh? Fresh, fresh yeah. man. You know, I've had a canned pickle that was probably better than a, or not a pickle, a canned jalapeno. And it was probably better than a real jalapeno, like fresh, but I can't remember yeah. where I got it from. I was going to say there's no way to not make a, like a, a not fresh pickle. I had a weird experience at a hipster restaurant here in Austin. Um, is this during, uh, uh, is this during by South by Southwest? Mm, this was, this was before that. Okay. When I was out, out to a business dinner. We went to this super hipster, super fancy restaurant and um, they came to the table and they said, would you like our naturally uh, fermented vegetables? And I said, well, yeah, that sounds cool. So they brought them to the table along with a few other things. And I said to the other people at the table, I said, does something here smell like trash to you? And and they were like, yeah, yeah, it kind of does. And <laughs> I ate the pickle. And of course, it was the pickle that smelled like it was rotten. Oh, and so, so I said to the people, I was like, hey, people, I'm like, did you bring us rotten vegetables? And they go, well, no, the way the way that natural pickling works is you just put it in vinegar or something or no, you don't put it in any vinegar. There's there, they put like a brine on it and then they just, they leave it in a can. So it's literally rotten, but it's rotten in a good way, I guess. <laughs> um, it was bad. Oh, it was bad and upsetting. Yeah. Was, was that when you went like um, after a WordCamp Austin or was it like after um, a blog her event? Did you go out with like a group? Is that what you uh, you did? This honestly, this was like. Just the friends. This was, out. Yeah. Yeah. This was it was a top secret meeting. I can't tell you. Can't tell you much more than that. You know, um, I've been out with you a couple of times after like WordCamp or hanging out like that. So that's where my guess came from. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I often, often that is the case. Often it's a party. Um, and, and we're just hanging out. This one was still a party, but it was with a mix of friends and business. Um, and that's, um, and that's how, um, world peace started, um, was at that <laughs> table. It's taken us a long time to get there. We're still working at it, but one of these days, right. um, Russell, I'm impressed with your nacho making prowess. Um, bad, huh? I think that this video is is probably the worst display of um, us getting paid to work. Um, I which, think it's a good display. <laughs> I, 
Okay. All right. Um, fair enough. Uh, so, Jason, what I makes can tell it, that he's been super quiet. What makes it the worst display? I'm very interested. The worst display is us literally doing nothing except making nachos and shameless plugs. <laughs> um, I'm getting paid. I guess. I guess maybe the redeeming factor is that it's like off hours on the weekend. Huh? Yeah, know. it's Sunday. I don't know. Yeah, but um, whatever. It's it's been pleasurable. I've How enjoyed it... spending time with you. Me too. How is <laughs> um, the first Nexus Nachos was yeah. a Friday, and then we did Nexus and Cheesesteak. That was on a Saturday. Yeah. Now this yeah. one is on a Sunday. What day do you like better? I'm gonna go with Saturday. I'm gonna go with whatever day the future holds after the Large Hadron Collider makes a connection with an alternate reality. Just not in 2020, please. Yeah. Um, so does uh, that mean we like we merge with another universe and everything goes back to normal, or? Yeah, have you heard? Have you heard about this, Jason? This crazy thing that's happening? No, I, I mean other. Than oh my I, god! I, I, wait, are you talking about pandemic? Like that crazy thing that I may have heard? No, about? no, no, no. Okay, no, so this is so, with so a the large hard, hadron collider. A, a large hadron. I can't even say it. Go ahead. So, so this, <laughs> so this collider is like the largest in the world, I think. And sure, um, it's, the, or, it's the one in France, right? Like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You so what, know so what they're the doing now? Theory. <laughs> so so they think this is a super great idea. What what they're planning on doing is um, uh, basically creating a mini black hole on Earth, and then um, they're saying that part of our gravity will leak into another dimension, and that they will literally be opening some sort of like field that is within another dimension i don't know it's very very strange but we're all just kind of like everybody that's read the article we're like i don't know man like this seems like a bad idea we could go wrong i mean i'm all for science and i think it's great it's underground it's in a large tube but my feeling about this is you know opening something for the first time we only have x amount of days before the election can we at least know who wins and what's going to happen before we just invite whatever it well, is that could be we back? won't even we won't know the final result for that for a few weeks afterwards right that's All what everybody's I'm saying, saying is i'm not in a rush for black holes <laughs> so what about um, with a black hole you got the event horizon which is where the point of Visibility from the outside, like time kind of freezes. Yeah. Where, like if they make a mini one, would we all would like the earth just be in an event horizon when time freeze for us? So that's, so it's all very curious, right? Like we, we don't know. Yeah. No one knows. We don't know. That, and because that's we what, don't know, that sounds like a great reason to try it, right? Like why not? What's the worst that could happen? We just delete everything. I yeah. Mean, I mean, I guess worst like that happens, one day they gotta I call my mom. <laughs> if one day i just disappear but then everybody else disappears then like did it happen like i Ooh. does it actually you know this is even to crazier. bring this back to if work we it's all a good go thing through the oh yeah go ahead well i was just gonna say like if you did this with your website and you created a black hole and something went wrong it's a good thing we've got backups that you could restore to it's very true right right you know it's a nice I'm time wondering, i'm wondering if we have like a staging earth just in case this isn't arrived, we can install the staging earth and we don't have all the cells, but we have 95% of the cells and we're good to go. <laughs> okay, but so check this out. It's kind of like if your entire site is stored, no, if, if all sites on a cluster of sites are stored on a CDN and the original site disappears, right? It still exists somewhere else all together yeah, it's in on one a CDN. piece. You just don't know how to access it because you are also complex, right? <laughs> so you're like, you're like, if all of us get sucked in the black hole at the same time, then we would all theoretically exist together. Would we even know that we were in the black hole? So we're no longer on earth.com. We're on 
edn.nexus.net. It's our CDN. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do we have an SSL on that uh, CDN? Um, only for 90 days. And every 90 days, you got to um, uh, refresh it. Okay, but what, what if the certificate authority is, is on original Earth in order, in order to, um, to recreate, right? Like, recreate mm. the SSL? I feel like we're creating a religion then, right now. I thought that was what satellites are for. I thought the certificate would live on a satellite, you know? But, but, but wait, it gets crazier than that because if, if the, if the um, certificate authority is not on um is not on earth then the browsers that verify that the security authority or the certificate authority is there do not exist on earth either it's very complicated i think it's very complicated feels like we're proving that matrix theory that we're all living within a computer environment that's right well you heard it here first folks um we figured out the the meaning of life um, <laughs> at WordCamp, LAX, um, and the meaning of nachos. All of our favorite uh, burgers. We've yeah. explained. I mean, basically, we didn't say how to set up a franchise, but you could franchise. You know, probably, uh, probably at least a Fuddruckers, right? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah, then. Um, well, I. I dig it and I appreciate uh, y'all hanging out and being silly. And um, Russell, I appreciate your over the top nachos. That is, that's, it's just brings tears to my eyes. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty sight. Uh, Jason, thank you for your excitement in bringing out your knives at the beginning. Um, <laughs> even though you <laughs> failed to execute on any cutting uh, during this hour, but, but what you did do was amazing. So thank you I for got, that. Uh, got some cucumbers here that I cut up. Oh, he did cut something. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, and and Devin, God bless you for just being here and letting us be weird. Um, I'm going to sign off. I know it's like a few minutes early, but I think that it's time. Um, after I us mean, bantering. Once you get it in the can, it's time to move on. That's right. That's, that's right. what they say in Hollywood. <laughs> yes, and that's what I say in Mendelwood too. Um, Mendelwood. Do you have gates? Yeah, that's you, you gotta, that's a, you gotta no. have a pass. No, no, no. We're a hip we're a hippie joint. We're ah. hippie cool. oh it's like Birdie Man. You gotta have a shaman. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's right. Um, but it's good it's, seeing y'all and um, I'm going to uh, pop out of here. Uh, but May you live long and eat nachos. Eat nacho. <laughs> Later, everybody.